Close your eyes and gather all your attention around the breath. Know the breath all the way in, all the way out. And notice what kind of breathing is comfortable. This is one of the nice things about the breath, is you can change it. If you're breathing heavily and it's not comfortable, you can breathe more lightly. Or if light breathing is too, too hard to focus on, making you drowsy, you can breathe more heavily. It's one of the few bodily processes that you can direct right away. And you can make it a good place to stay. It's a place where the mind can rest. As the Buddha said, there is no happiness other than peace. And peace is when you can stay with something for a long time. Even the little moments of happiness that we find in other ways have that little moment where you can stay with the, the object and it feels good. But then all too often you get pushed off. The object changes or something else comes in and takes its place. Whereas if you're with the breath and the breath is comfortable, you can stay here for a long time. The sense of peace and well-being are really good for the mind. They help to strengthen the mind. Because exercising the mind isn't like exercising the body. When exercising the body, you've got to move around. But with exercising the mind, you've got to learn how to stay still and develop all the qualities of the mind that keep you still. Mindfulness, alertness, ardency. And when the mind is still in this way and gets rested this way in full alertness, that's when it gets strong. I mean, you can rest by sleeping, but that doesn't strengthen the mind nearly as much as meditation does, because while you're here you have to be mindful to remember to stay here. You have to be very alert to what's going on. You have to try your best to do this well. In other words, when the mind slips off, you bring it back right away. You don't let things wait for a while. And while it's here, you try to be as sensitive as possible to anything that's coming up in the mind that might pull you away, so you don't get de deceived by it. And this way the mind gets strengthened, simply by being still and maintaining its stillness and full alertness. This is how the mind becomes strong. We need the mind to be strong, because otherwise it's overcome by sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. We live in a world where all kinds of crazy things are happening. If you don't have the strength to withstand them, they just roll right over you. So for the mind's well-being, to protect the mind's well-being, you've got to develop this inner strength here so you don't get tempted to get strung along by the ways of the world. You can see right through an attractive sight, sound, smell, taste, tactile sensation, and see where it's leading you. And then you can know, is this something that's worth following in order, that's safe to follow or not? That's how you maintain the well-being of the mind. in a position of stillness, in a position of peace, in a position of strength. This is how we protect ourselves from influences outside and in. And this is how we become a refuge for ourselves.